I just like having every friend around my house. It makes me feel like I have friends and stuff. Besides my mom. Ever since he started accumulating all of his stuff from the road, he's just buried himself alive and he needs help. He needs to let go of the past and move forward with his life. Realize he's never going to be Kiefer in the Shadow Puppets again. I guess I had a pretty normal childhood. I did, I guess, what, what every other kid did. They just played with themselves and just hung out with their mom and stuff. When Carl was little, I pretty much let him do whatever he wanted. He was kind of an outcast, so I felt bad saying no to him a lot of the times. If he wanted to drink beer or play in the dirt or scream and yell and hit his sisters. My name is Mary Lou Kiefer, and I am Carl's sister. You know, Carl was always a little bit different to the rest of the family. Um, you know, we had a pretty big family, and our mom had an affair with a wedding singer, and out came Carl. And uh, he never really fit in. He acted different, and the only reason I really stuck around with him was because he looked like me. You know, we were both a little different looking, but got picked on a lot growing up. I feel like we're a really good band because um, we got real famous and stuff. Like, we played at the county fair and uh, I played in my basement sometimes. I wish that other people were in the band with me. I think that uh, all of the hoarding truly began when Kiefer and the Shadow Puppets took off in Carl's mind. Uh, and Carl started sort of collecting things from these venues. This is my, my office. Um, this is my desk over here. I, we are usually, I usually leave this bag on my chair and then when I want to sit at my desk I just pull it down here and then I can sit on my desk. But I like what's on my chair when I leave so I know where it is. In this drawer, I keep this light bulb that burnt out a few years ago. But I think if I get some little tools or something, I might be able to go in there and fix it. And so I just like to keep it in this drawer for now. Someday I'll, I'll fix it and I'll put it up in one of the, the flight things up there or something. Oh, there's oh, something oh, in there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a dead animal carcass. Looks like it's been in there for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, is that Jeffrey? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I can't really tell anymore, but I feel like that might be. Okay, so you didn't even notice that there was a dead animal in here, well, rotting, the smell didn't bug you? Oh, the smell just feels, smell, smell smells good to me, I guess. Okay, so I see you have a bunch of stuff out here as well. Is this all you want to hold on to? Yes, this, I think I want to hold on to everything. I think I told you that already. But especially the things out here. That looks like a big barrel of poop. Are yeah. you holding on to that or? I'll keep the right there because it's good fertilizer or something. Fertilizer? Dog poop? Dog poop. There's some human poop too sometimes. Well, I can't get to the toilet without poop in the bucket. Uh, nothing, nothing in this house is trash. Okay? Come get that straight. Nothing here is trash. 